There are mounting concerns about violent crimes and unsolved murders in one part of the capital city, and those concerns brought together the community tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Piner is live in Providence with the story new at 11. Kelly, good evening. Well, Cabral Park at Fox Point behind me is quiet at this hour, but earlier tonight, neighborhood people were here discussing issues they believe are connected to violent crime here in the city, issues that they care very deeply about, even if the bloodshed is not happening on this block. Whether it be the recent fatal Federal Hill beating or Chad Brown shootings or Southside violence, city neighborhoods are on edge. Fox Point may be quiet, but the concern is there. We have a lot of crime going on in, uh, in a city and a lot of it's unsolved. With that, more calls to keep community centers open longer and accessible to more kids, teens especially. Maybe if you keep them in the boys club, keep them entertained, keep them with some kind of sport or something to entertain their minds, they won't end up in the streets and this won't be a problem. That was a large part of Thursday night's community meeting in Fox Point's Cabral Park and there were pointed criticisms of the boys and girls clubs like this one across the street, again over access. We have had to downsize, um, and again, it, it all comes down to what are the what are the resources that that we have to provide high quality programs and follow all of the rules that are out there for those programs. So we have downsized. We're on the way back up, though. Dufresne says 50% growth over the past year. In fact, nearly 150 teens are now in a summer career training program. Do we want to do more? Of course. What it takes is more resources, more time, and more people. The people here have said that they will volunteer to help us. I am hoping that they'll show up tomorrow without the community's help, without individuals' help. I can't move the dial. Now, the nearby Boys and Girls Club is open till 6 p.m. in the summers, but there's a strong feeling here that that is not nearly late enough. That will take commitment in order to change that. And by the way, Dufresne says volunteers are always welcome at all of the city's Boys and Girls Clubs so long as they undergo a background check and, of course, adhere to the rules set by the nonprofit. Live in the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.